Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I will do a general love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. And we do have the Ace of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Cups. Might be some, um, you know, some um, hidden romance that we don't want to talk about. The Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups can also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We don't have communication with but we expect to have two of ones, right? We expect and we wait and we hope and we are not turning our back. We are at crossroads but not turning yet our back as we expect to have a conversation. Five of Cups, missing them, missing, longing, wanting them and waiting for them. Despite the crossroads, right? They put us at crossroads in, and yet we are willing to give them a cup again. Ace of Cups and the Two of Wands. The universe is also saying to some Aries, a love offer is coming, make sure you see it because you are watching in two directions. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands. Can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, somebody at a distance, a lost friend coming around again and wanting to put up some effort into this connection. Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy, Aries. And yet we have you suspended, changing perspectives. The hangman with the eight of pentacles in reverse. You are looking at it, analyzing, not knowing, not being sure. Three of cups and yet wanting to be happy, right? Three of cups with the eight of pentacles in reverse is um, us not taking action, but thinking. Two of swords, three of cups, contemplating happiness. Finally being at that point where we just want to be happy, which is good, right? It's the beginning of taking action. We start to think, change perspectives. We stop waiting, right? Ace of Swords, definitely communication is coming. Ten of Swords and the Hangman. You know how it feels, um, Aries and the Four of Pentacles. It has this energy of a betrayal that happened um, and uh, it was very painful because we were not knowing something. We do have the hangman with the ace of swords. This is changing perspective because of communication that's given to us and four of pentacles, right? Maybe you'll find out that somebody was actually still connected to you, not wanting to let you go. It looks like a fake betrayal, right? Or some, not fake, but something that we were not, we had no idea actually it's not a betrayal. We, we took it as a betrayal. Um, so I would expect communication. Ace of Swords is actually written communication. And I love the hangman, the communication that you waited. Oh, I love this even more. You know why? We have the tower in reverse. The betrayal was actually not a disruption. Not a distraction. Ten of Swords with the tower in reverse because of communication and a change in perspective. Um, of someone who is still holding on to you. That's a Four of Pentacles here, right? Yeah. Quite a clear message, Aries. What's going on? <laughs> so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. It's interesting, right? Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There was something you were blindfolded about. And what you don't know that is that actually they don't want to let go of you and they want to work this out. Such a clear message, overall message. Um, so Aries, in the past what happened, we uh, made an offer that we do have the Sun in reverse. Might have been a Leo and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, we've made an offer to someone and yet it came with unhappiness, uh, lies, not seeing the truth, being in the shadows. Um, it was something, an energy of kind of secretive energy, right? Where we've made an offer when nobody was watching or they, it has, can be the energy of um, maybe ignoring it. And that's when you felt betrayed, right? And unhappy because you came from a place of investment starting slow uh, being smart about you know that type of energy now this person of yours five of swords in reverse and the ace of swords they felt conflicted they felt probably silent by uh, the offer confused um 
in uh, the communication with you, uh, not having a vision of where this connection can go. A lot of swords in reverse can be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I kind of feel that uh, they were not in the right place to accept um, your offer, Aries. They were not in the right place. And absolutely, there was rejection with the Five of Pentacles and injustice, right, between the two of you. Simply, completely two different energies you had in your hands. Uh, an offer you wanted to give, making you happy, and this person was actually solving conflict, addressing, um, you know, a lot of um, internal conflict, lack of vision, um, lack of ideas on how to move on, and being stuck in something that was um, not good. So what are we right now? We do have the Nine of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel that you are focusing on money, your stability. I feel that right now you are actually at peace when it comes to your financial situation, your possibilities of. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is in Reverse, so the road is still, um, you know, um, ahead. But we are less stressed about financial security, stability, money, and, um, and moving forward. Now, this person of yours, Aries, they absolutely want to come back. Six of Swords in Reverse and the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel this is the, the energy of, um, you know, um, I mean, again, they want to come back and they love you. The Knight of Cups is my love you. I want to, I want to make love to you energy. But it's also desire to take action, right? So in the past, they've been caught in something that was, again, very... Uh, sword energy kind of swords in reverse we know they hurt we know they manipulate um you know it's um, it's inappropriate communication or uh, poor um and lack of clarity of the mind so they were they were in a very bad spot but now they want to come back they are emotionally available now mutual energies between the two of you queen of wands and the star in reverse Aquarius energy can be an Aquarius, can be another fire sign like yourself, but this is the energy where they see you for the beauty that you are, but also I feel that we are, um, um, you know, still um, questioning, right, this connection, right at the core of the reading, we have you questioning and, and feeling a little bit lost. Uh, not understanding, right? We know the star is alignment, uh, wish fulfillment, guidance, counseling, but we have it in reverse. So we are a little bit, what's going on? What am I supposed to understand? And yet I would expect clarifying communication. Ace of Swords with the hangman is really the most clear message. Expect communication that, we, that would uh, change your perspective. And the outcome, Ten of Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, stability and absolutely the energy of healing a broken heart. I love this energy. You heal your heart and your mind um, in the uh, in the month to come. And look at this. You mirror each other with the Ten of Pentacles, and they have the Emperor. They only want stability, family, legacy, money, you name it. Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. So they are ready now, Aries. Uh, that is the the whole energy today. They are ready now. Mutual energies between the two of you. The time served as wisdom. Four of Swords and the um, the Hermit Virgo energy, but this is planning, strategizing, soul journey, light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this is knowing exactly what they need to do and they will be wise about. So, um, the breakup served as counsel right wise counsel um, for both of you actually and um, yeah let's ask for some guidance again the question is always the same should we say yay should we say nay we do have compatibility so Aries when it comes to this person maybe we need to look deep and try to figure out what this is and it looks like it is we have yin and yang and uh, compatibility it is exactly about uh, harmony and one completing the other it is actually beautiful compatibility and the universe is kind of confirming oh yeah you are compatible we do have the silver waterfall so somebody is guided to be transparent just like the waterfall right we can see through um, it's um, you know to allow energies of flow and alignment but mainly it's about speaking the truth there and we have soulmates so yes soulmates Aries if that was your question 
that is a lot of love and a lot of compatibility in this connection. And guess what? They express love through gifts. Bottom of the deck, a small token of love can convey great appreciation. So the universe is saying yes, there is an Aries out there uh, where the universe is saying yes, they are the one and they only want family, legacy, stability, power, um, a powerful connection, right? A powerful energy between the two of you. So let's see the energies we, we need to put back into the flow where we are, we are guided and to have surrender to success. So this is a very successful connection you have with someone Aries. And um, you are ready to experience abundance. You have both Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. It feels like a renewal. There is no doubt an, an information that will clarify everything, actually. We do have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So for some of you, maybe you need to free yourself in order to allow this connection in. Maybe you need to free yourself of a past relationship, an energy that you have around you can be family, can be can be people opposing um, this connection and you have to, you're guided. Uh, it's your better judgment and I count on you actually to make your best um, decisions. But when it comes to the energies we are seeing, that is a lot of compatibility, body, mind and soul connection and possibilities of success, but you need to free yourself of something and also to be creative. So let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. What else? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And it's interesting, it comes with your body, mind and soul connection. So that is something that you need to be disciplined about. And um, Aries, you do have surrender to success and success. So this connection is a total success. I believe that was a, mis a misunderstanding. Um, this is what it looks like. And once we have the information, knowledge, and somebody speaks th uh, their truth, it becomes a total success. So I know that there is no greater goal than love. Such an amazing reading. Such an amazing reading, actually. Um, and there is so much wisdom in this breakup, right? There is so much counsel and somebody sat down and really thought about it. And it's also energy coming your way um, in the next month. So um, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. 